We here, live in Harlem. Where else I'm supposed to do this? You know, this is a little different setting. You know, y'all used to see me in the kitchen cooking it up. So I'm gonna ask you guys a question. If you shot someone and they claim you killed this person and you got charged for it, you, you went to the system for it, you got locked up for it. They said you did it, which you was the guy. And three years later, you're acquitted. Does that make sense? I'm asking you guys the question. Does that make sense to you guys? So I know I said he's free, but, I, but that's the wrong choice of word. He's actually acquitted. He's acquitted. That means he's no longer charged for this thing. So why get him in the first place? Why said, this is the guy, this is the shooter, which it is. So why acquit him? And here's the funny thing. I keep telling y'all that the major news networks, they're like propaganda pieces to me. They're like PR. They're not news no more. Because this question that I'm asking, and mind you, it's not personal. I do, I'm just telling the story. There are people like me, we're interested in paid in full. The movie came out, love the movie. You know, it's fascinating to us, it's entertaining. Just like the white people got John Gotti. They got their mobsters that they glor glorify and put in movies and talk about, right? Shout outs to AZ for changing his life. And may Rich Porter rest in peace. Also Darnell Porter, may he rest in peace. And we can learn from this. We, we can learn from everything that took place back then. That was an error that would never come back. I don't see it coming back, but it did happen. That is our history in our culture, black culture, that did happen. My family was out there and some of your family was out there. I was involved somehow and your family was involved, including you. So we know the inner workings of this thing. We know the demons that come with this lifestyle. And we are fortunate to be here to tell some of these stories. Now, as far as Alpo and as far as his shooter, I'm just asking the question because think about it. Why did, not only did they let him go, but he was acquitted. Why? And here's the boogeyman thing about this. And I keep telling you guys, today's FBI, today's C to I to A, they're operating very sus. They, they are so involved in our culture. They're so involved in our streets, okay, that there are things that's happening like this story right here. There are things that's going on like this situation where you got to say, hmm, what the hell is going on? What is going on? Some of you asking me, Sean in HD, what did you find out? And I'm going to tell you this. The boogeyman thing about this is Google Shaquem Parker acquitted. Google that. You will never see Fox 5, CBS, NBC, no major news network said this guy's acquitted. No major news network is touching the story. And that's what I ran into when I was out there with the tablet. That's what I ran into when I'm out there asking questions. Hey, what's going on with the case? Before the news broke the story that they had the shooter. I already knew they had the shooter two months before they announced they had the shooter. And I realized that they were being spoon fed because real journalism is what I was doing. Real journalism, Lisa Evers, uh, the, the, the girl from PIX11 News, the reporter, they wasn't doing journalism. They were waiting, being fed by these guys, okay? They were being fed by the F, the B, the I. Me, I was guerrilla style out there, and I found out, and I was shocked. I was like, yo, why are they not talking about this? They been had the guy. At the time, they already had him. I knew two months before. That was suspicious. Then, what about, I seen the footage, my friend lives in the building where the truck crashed. I seen the footage of Pope being coming up took taking him out of the truck and he's alive. And they took him to the hospital. Understand, Harlem Hospital is a, is a stone throw away 
in an ambulance, you're going to get there in a minute. All it takes is one minute. Baby. One minute in the ambulance, it's only 10 blocks. We was on 147. The emergency room at Harlem Hospital is on 137. 10 blocks in the ambulance. In the ambulance, Poe's going to get there in one minute. He was alive. Well, one minute he's in the hospital. Boom, I goes over there. Everything is shut down. It's like the president is in there. It was like the president got shot. Oh, that did happen, though. You know what I'm saying? The president did get shot. But the thing is, it was cold case, cold turkey. Nothing coming out. Some people didn't even know it was Poe. Some people knew it was Poe. Nobody saying nothing to me. I seen the F to B the I run up in there. I waited. And if Poe passed away in the hospital, I would have seen that van, the examiner van, you know, that white van. With, with, with the um with the bed would have came out. I didn't see that. So I waited, I waited for for to see me, not only me, there were others too. Because remember, I'm not the only one that that's fascinated with the story or that gravitate to the story. And I resonate with the pain of full movie and I resonate with the people in the movie. I mean most of the stuff that happened in real life with that situation, Miss T story, whether it was um, AZ telling the story, whether it was Fritz family telling the story, whether it was the guys from DC telling their story, you know what I'm saying? I've seen that, I've lived that. Our family, my family went against each other. You know, the, 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 let me tell you something about the drug game if you don't know, because a lot of you are young and you never witness it. There's some demons in that lifestyle some demons. I, I told a story where uh, my, my, the phone rung. This time I was living in the Bronx in a private house. And we was, I was in the, living, in the living room. My mother's by the kitchen. We had a house phone back then. It wasn't no like cell phones like how it is now, prominent like how it is now. And the uh, phone rung and my mother told me, look out the window. I think I was about 11 years old at the time. She said, look out the window. And when I look out the window, I seen two of the ugliest dudes in my life. Dark skin, scarred up in the face, big gorilla looking dudes. Post up, one on one side of the car, the driver's side of the car with the door open, other guy in the passenger with the door open, and he looking right at the house. And my, my mother asked me what did I see, and I told her what I saw. And in, in hindsight, this is what happened. What happened is, my uncle told my mother, look, I was about to send those guys, he was about to send those guys to kill everybody in the damn house because my father owed him money. Now, these are brothers, but he was about to send his goons to the crib because my uncle was the plug. He had the power. He had, he had the power like that to make that happen. So these are the demonic things that happen in the game, brother against brother. Okay, family against family, friends setting up friends, brother setting up brother to get robbed, all these things. So there, there's a bunch of outposts in the game. There's a bunch of all these characters. There's a bunch of Miss T's, a bunch of Fritz, a bunch of uh, AZ, and there's a bunch of Rich Porters in the game. It's just that Alpo is famous, so he stood out, right? But in the game, there was a bunch of these dudes. You know what I'm saying? Now, uh, Rafer is home, right? He's home. And he informed as well, okay? And he's home right now. Was it worth it? I think AZ got it right. You know, it, it wasn't worth it, man. It wasn't worth it, but we do have the story and we can learn from it. And it's fascinating at times, but it was real. And right now we are just asking, many of you are just asking, what the hell is going on? What is going on? We are intrigued. Why you got to quit it, homie, if you supposedly killed this dude? Why is he out? This don't make no sense. It doesn't make any sense. You know, what's going on? And then, like I said, Google the shooter getting acquitted. Google his name. He got acquitted. You're not finding nothing on major networks. It's like little blog sites talking about it. But you don't see it on major, 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 major situations. You know what I mean? But it is confirmed that he's out because, you know, certain people that know about the situation closely 
they confirmed that, yeah, homie's out, you know? So I think pay them for two is in effect now. I think Dame is there. Damn, we got to change the script now. <laughs> like, he's there putting pen to paper or whoever else that's going to come out with the pay them for two. He said he was going to do it. Dame and Dash said he's going to do pay them for two. So should we leave it up to him? Or I know there's a bunch of creatives out there. There's a bunch of you guys out there that could write an ill script, you know what I'm saying, to put this movie together. Oh, y'all needs a budget. All we need is an opportunity. I got some ideas too. But for right now, I'm going to talk about the story. This this, this is part of my culture. You know, I, I, I'm Jamaican as well, and I will be talking about Jamaican situations. You know what I'm saying? So this is my culture, and I can speak on it. You know what I mean? As long as I'm not slandering no one and, and being biased and, and, and being disrespectful, you know, I'm just not going to choose no side because I don't personally know these men, you know, but I'm going to tell the story. I know you guys love it, you know, but at the same time, I'm learn I've learned a lot how these people operate. I've learned a lot how the law, these people operate in, and they operate in on a level where you're like, what the hell is going on here? Okay. And I think right now, 2024, I think that's we need to focus on building the community once more. Remember, we built pyramids. Did y'all forget that? We are the people that built a, the first high civilization, high tech civilization. Understand that we have the DNA in our bloodline. Even though I'm coolie, I'm half Indian, half black. Even though I'm coolie, my, my grandmother looked like Florida from 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 Jeff from um Good Times, you know. Real look just like Florida from good times. In fact, they, that was her nickname, Florida. Same here, same course here, everything. But understand that we built things, we we invent things as a people. So killing each other, that's not what it is for 2025. Bodying each other, hating on each other, that's not what it is for 2025. We are gonna build. And I'm going to start my movement. I'm going to give the teens a platform. I think teenagers need a platform. What y'all think? You know, a lot of the old heads, they have other old heads on their platform telling old stories, what they could have, should have, would have did. You know what I mean? But I want to actually build with the youth. And that's what I want to do. So, you know, out of bad sometimes comes good. And I sparked that from when Alpo passed away and the whole thing about it. And I said, wow, you know, this guy really came home and did what he said he was going to do at the end of pay them full, remember? He said, yo, when I come home, I'm still going to be the king. And he came home, and he, he Alpo was back in 88, 89, and he had Puffy's baby moms, and she helped him to get a deal. How do we know that? Because of Gene Deal. Gene Deal, shout-outs to Gene Deal. Um, I would say that I like people like Gene because... They tell the truth. His story never changed. And he's consistent. And he didn't have to jump out the window and, and, and come out and said the things he said. So we respect Gene Deal. Big up to Gene Deal. Big up to you, my man. Uh, big up to uh, Miss T. Uh, big up to uh, the other platforms that's holding the culture strong. Because the, the street culture is our subculture. And from the streets, come a lot of the things that become mainstream. If the streets is foul, then the whole culture gets foul. So this is why I say we got to take things out of the culture that don't that is not good for it and put things in that is good for it. You understand me? Fashion comes from the culture. Fashion comes from the street. That's why uh, uh, the way we talk, our slang, our lingo, our style, our swag come from the street, which is our subculture. And the streets right now, it's a little shaky, a little murky right now. You can hear it in the music. Whatever's going on in the culture, the music is the depiction of what's happening. So, you know, it ain't, it ain't the best. It ain't the best. I feel like when we was coming up back then, even though we had killers in the street and drugs and everything, I think we had more morals back then and we grew better back then. We was more nurtured back then. We, we understood life better, reality better back then, you know? So, hey. I loved it back then, and I loved the stories back then, and I'm a young elder, and I love telling you guys the stories, but curiosity is ringing hard.
curiosities banging, banging, banging in my noggin because it's like, yo, where is Alpo? Where is Alpo? Where are you, Alpo? Because, hey, this right here is a magician trick. Like, this right here, this, if this ain't, this is real though, but it's like, nah, this ain't no movie. This is real. This is real. And I see the family out there. He know who he is. He trying to tap into some of these topics. I know you watching me. I know you watching. Uh, but um, it's just fascinating to me that this guy, they said he killed this man, but he's acquitted. Not free, but acquitted. That is crazy. That that right there just, you know, blows your mind. And, and, and it's like, okay, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? You know, it, it's just part of this whole story, this whole journey. You know what I'm saying? It's a Harlem story and a D.C. story as well. Because Pogo went down to D.C. And, and a whole other situations happened. So this is just... 25% of the whole story that we're talking about right now. But shout outs to everybody that's watching. Shout outs to all of you that hit that subscribe button. If you like what I'm doing, you can put a one in the comment, you know what I'm saying? If you like what's happening over here, don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend what's going on. And people, please go and Google the shooter because you're going to see nothing, no major news. This is Alpo. This ain't no, this, this, this story is so huge that they made a movie. Merrimax, Lionsgate was behind this. And you telling me the news is not talking nothing about this? It's just cold turkey. Shaquem came out, he's acquitted, and no news, no nothing. Hey, hey, Shaquem, how do you feel to be free? Nothing, nothing. And, it, and, and, and I'm not trying to shed too much light on him because he had his reasons why he did what he did. We're not judging nobody. You know, we're just telling the story. Sean in HD, man. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button. You know what I mean? And put a one in the comment if you like what's going on over here. We're going to have more. Sean in HD, videofamer.com, coming soon.